thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be walking you through how to make the mosaic wine bottle kit from Bisque Imports. Please stay tuned. So when you open up your mosaic wine bottle kit, you're going to get uh, things that look like this. You have your wine bottle plaque, green mosaic pieces, purple mosaic pieces, purple iridescent mosaic pieces, clear round mosaic pieces, glue, grout, purple paint, and your paint brushes. There's a sheet that comes with your package that has that item list and a full set of instructions. I'm gonna be reading through these instructions and follow along just so you guys see what you guys are gonna be doing. So, you're going to take your clear round mosaic pieces, flip them over so the flat side is facing up, and paint a coat of purple acrylic on them. So let's do that like this. Now with acrylic paint, just please be careful. It does stain. So while you're doing these sorts of things, I would recommend wearing uh, some old clothes, some gloves, something you won't mind as much to get dirty. We're going to paint the back of these. And it says we're going to paint two coats of these. That I'm sure is so that we don't see our brush strokes because only one coat is going to be still kind of translucent. And a coat is defined as while it's still wet. You don't officially start a second coat until your item is dry. So no matter how much paint you apply the first time, it still only counts as one coat. Now that I've got my first coat of purple done on the back of all of these, I'm going to let it sit and dry, do the second coat, and let it dry um, again for the second coat. So now that our clear round mosaic pieces are dry, our purple's dry on them, you can see that they now appear purple through the other side. What we're going to do is glue them to the center of our bottle in the shape of a group of grapes. So that's really cute. So we've got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight is how many that they have on their example piece. I'm just following along what they've got going on in their image. We're gonna put these guys down. We wanna leave a bit of space in between them because we are gonna be grouting this whole thing. to have somewhere to sit. We're not going to be using all of them. It looks like we're going to have 
have some extra. Some of these aren't as dry as I thought they were. That's all right. Portion properly. There we go. We can scoop these guys down a little bit. And very nice. All right. Now that we have our grapes down, we're going to put some of the green uh, pieces up in this general vicinity to look like leaves. That's so cute. We're gonna use four of the mosaic pieces, glue them to the top left side of the grapes in the shape of a leaf. Make sure that the pieces align flush with the edge of the plaque. We don't want anything hanging over the edge. So we've got this general vicinity for our grape leaves. with the edge there two three and four very nice now what are we doing all right fill in the area around the grapes and the leaf using purple mosaic pieces Make sure to leave an inch of space at the bottom of the bottle and the neck of the bottle blank. So we are going to be putting pieces, it looks like from here down and all in this vicinity. Just using my glue to sort of mark out where I'm going. We're going to be putting these guys in these purple mosaic pieces. Let's get applying. And there's no semblance of what pieces should be going where. I want to say sort of just do what makes sense to you in the moment. After all, this is your project, nobody else's. You can do whatever you want, whatever makes sense for you, to you. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm having an absolute blast doing this right now. <laughs> All Beautiful. Okay, now glue the purple iridescent mosaic pieces to the neck of the bottle. Now, from these pieces have like two sides to them. Let's see if we can get this to focus. All right, sorry, there we go. We've got this sort of like plain side. And then the other side is that nice iridescent type of glow. Again, the other one's sort of pale and opaque. So I'm going to then assume that we want the nice iridescent side facing out. So the bit that's got the cleave in it, cleft, it's gonna be the one that goes up here. <clears throat> Again, this is your project, so I don't think that there's any right or wrong way to do it. The instructions though do say that their way sort of fits best. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Follow along. Got these two up here like that. Got rows down here. All right, let's scooch these guys down maybe? Yeah. Row in here. There we go, now everybody's, everybody's
everybody's here. Awesome. And then down at the bottom, same sort of a thing. We've got this all right here. And it's basically fitting two rows. I like the look of it following the curve of the wine bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. say to let all the glue dry um, and it should take about 10 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna set this aside and I'll be back when it's time to do our grouting which is our next step so I've left this to dry it's definitely set I had dinner played with the kids got everybody to bed all that good stuff so this I know is definitely dry and set the next step is to mix our grout as per our instructions it says we are going to mix the grout in a uh, disposable cup with a disposable spoon uh, with some water until it becomes a peanut butter consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and I'll be right back. So I've gotten my grout, this is a very yellow grout. <laughs> Um, but I've gotten it to a peanut butter like consistency and it says to spread the grout mixture over the wine bottle surface letting the grout fill in all the spaces between the mosaic pieces. Allow grout to set for 15 to 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and get uh, filling. I don't really know if there's a, I'm sure that there is a right way and a wrong way to apply this. I don't know what that is. So I'm just gonna spread it with my fingers so that I know it's going where it's supposed to go. back into my cup. So, I don't really think I'm going to be saving this for much. I don't have too many more mosaic projects to do that didn't come with their own crowd. and filled in so I'm going to let this sit and set for a bit the instructions recommend 15 to 30 minutes so I'll check back then so I've let this sit for a little bit of time it's probably been about 20 minutes or so and the instructions say to now take a piece of paper towel and we're going to wipe off uh, some of the excess grout really start to see our project come to life here now. We're just getting that main layer of grout off the top. I'm also going to use this time to wipe down the edges of the piece. So that's a little bit smoother. But cool. All right. So the instructions say that once this is dry, we can use a damp sponge or cloth to really polish out our mosaic pieces. So I'm going to revisit this tomorrow 
I'm also going to wait until it's completely dry to do the next step of painting around the uh, outside. So we'll do that all in one go. I'll see you in a second. So I've let my wine bottle kit um, sit for about 24 hours now, so I know that the grout is nice and set in there. I'm gonna take an old washcloth and a bit of water. I'm gonna wipe down my piece so that all of the tiles and the mosaic pieces get nice and polished off. And basically our last step is that we are going to be painting the edge of the wine bottle. You've got this nice purple that came with your kit. Go ahead, open it up. Please be careful. You don't want the paint flying everywhere. And using your brush, you're just going to go ahead and apply two coats. Do this slowly. You don't want to get the paint everywhere. Acrylic paint does stain, so please be careful with your clothing, with your tabletops. All set and done. I painted all around the rim. If there's some places that you find might be a little too um, dull, it's not, the paint's not going to be shiny by any means, but if it's not quite purple enough for you, you can go ahead and do a second coat. The instructions do recommend doing two coats. I'm just too impatient to wait and paint a second one, so I'm completely content with just this uh, purple going around and we are otherwise done. We are all finished with our mosaic wine bottle. I hope you guys had a blast making this along with me. I know I did, and I really want to see your guys' projects. Please uh, tag me in them. Color me mine Nyack, that's C-O-L-O-R-M-E-M-I-N-E-N-Y-A-C-K. Please go ahead and show me all of your fabulous creations that you guys are making right now. I can't wait to see them. And thanks so much for uh, making stuff with me today. See you next time.